hats off to all the contractors and architects and engineers that work tirelessly behind the Swansea Girls Club of Kenosha reaches over 5,000 youth on an annual basis. And we expect that number to grow. With this new state-of-the-art facility, we hope to double our youth outreach within the first decade of operations. Where else but in Kenosha would you find a community coming together with a can-do attitude during a difficult economy to take on a project like this for the children who need us the most? We couldn't have done it without your help and support. On behalf of the Board of Directors of the Boys and Girls Club of Kenosha, I want to thank you all. I am very pleased to be here on behalf of Boys and Girls Clubs of America uh, as we open the doors to what will be the largest Boys and Girls Club facility in the Midwest. And with a design indoor soccer field. Uh, and I'm going to keep saying things so I get more applause. Uh, but, but, but I do want to say this. Uh, this is the, the future for Boys and Girls Clubs. Uh, partnerships. It is public and private ventures. It is bringing together all the community services in a place that can have the greatest impact that this club will do. That's what this center does. This is not just a place. This is an investment. It is a commitment by this community to make a change for the good in the lives of kids, to prepare kids for the future. Because as a country, we can't afford not to do it. So on behalf of the four million kids that are served by Boys and Girls Club, and the 4,000 locations across the country. Thank you for all that you've done and all that you will do as an investment in the future of America and the future of kids. Hi, um, since the first of the year, I've been uh, had the opportunity to tour about five or six different boys and girls clubs all over Wisconsin. And I have to tell you, when I turned around the corner in my car and I saw this building, it was like, wow. I mean, it was unbelievable. And this is such a wonderful facility. I had the opportunity to go on a tour before I started, and I saw the teen center, and the, uh, I have two teenage sons, so I'm a mom of two, two teenage boys, and I'm sure that that center is probably the place that they, well, between the basketball and the soccer and the upstairs, I don't know if they can uh, be able to um, decide exactly where they want to be. But, you know, I know um, recently John was talking about hope, and this is a center of hope, and, I, and I, when I go around and I meet these families and I talk to them one-on-one, -on -one, I realize that this is a center of hope, and, and I just want to say thank you, thank you to the donors and the staff. It was, um, you must be so proud to be able to come to work here every day, and to all the families that are here, enjoy yourself, have fun, and beha on behalf of my husband, the governor, and I would both want to say, you know, have fun and thank you so much. I want to thank the members of the council for helping to kind of bring this project to fruition the last three years, but I want to congratulate and, and uh, and sing the praises of our former mayor, because Mayor Antaranian really made a great leap of faith years ago when he pledged $5 million and really got this thing jump-started and got it going from our former mayor, John Antaranian. <laughs> the impact on the city of Kenosha is huge. Quickly, we forget what this neighborhood used to be like. All of the problems that we had in this neighborhood, all of the, all of the buildings that were here that are not here anymore and what's been what's here in its place will be a magnet for not only our kids but all of the citizens of Kenosha to enjoy for the next hundred years. It'll be here long after we're here, long after the buildings that formerly occupied this site were here. We're proud, we're a model of the state. And I think I know that when we cut that ribbon today out front the fabric of our community is only getting stronger. Thank you for all being here today. Thank you all you've done for this today. It makes our community better. And Kenosha is the biggest small town in Wisconsin. May God bless us. Thank you.